Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting the first part of what is probably going to be a three part series of me going through all of my old art stuff right the way back to GCSE. So there'll be a GCSE episode, an AS level episode and an A level episode where I'm going to go through all of my old sketchbooks. I've got three of these and a box full of sketchbooks to go through, hence why it's going to be a three part series. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to start with GCSE, but let's get right into it. My next door neighbour is like chopping down a tree or something and I really hope you can't hear all the noise. I've had to shut the window even though it's like 25 degrees in here so I'm absolutely boiling. Um, but if you can hear that I'm really sorry. I've already tried to film this once today. Yeah, that noise. So I did Fine Art GCSE for about two years which means I've got one, two, three full sketchbooks to go through and you can see like these are literally bursting apart. So that's why I'm splitting this into a three part series. As you can see, this is like 11A, Kira Good 10A. Uh, 11 and 10A was like the tutor group that I was in when I was at school. I'm gonna try and go through them in the order that I think I did them but I'm not 100% sure on that. I also have a couple of like final piece things that I'm gonna go through as well. It's really exciting for me because I haven't seen this stuff probably since I did it, which was like six years ago now. I really hope this lighting is gonna be okay. I'm really sorry if it's not great. I've done my best. Uh, so this is the sketchbook I'm gonna go through first because it kind of had 10 and 11 on it. So this is year 10 and year 11 and I think it continued over the two years. Um, I don't really know what the themes were for any of these. I'm just sort of guessing and hoping for the best. But I think this was more of like a floral, um, outdoorsy kind of theme. As you can see, I have these sketches here of the flower moved. And you have sort of like a lot of this stuff at GCC level was sort of um, copies of what people did. It was sort of practicing your skills of just generally drawing, even if you were copying other artists' works. So I do want to just put that out there. A lot of the stuff in here is just me copying artists, but the artists are all credited throughout the book. But yeah, the theme for this sketchbook was nature as inspiration. Started off with this quick mind map with this cool thing. Something you'll notice throughout is I obviously went to sort of like a paint shop or something and picked up a bunch of these color palette things and stuck them all throughout. That's something I definitely loved doing. As you can see again here, so yeah, just general artist copies. This was the artist I used as inspiration. They are Noel Pugh, and I'd always write sort of a little description about them and what I liked about them. So yes, obviously we have this sort of drawing of the lavender with all the paint swatches and sort of the color inspirations. And then again, this is supposed to be a copy of this drawing. And I always added these in because I thought it made it look cool. I think we had a Day of the Dead theme um, and so again I did some copies of sort of these four from this artist and again sort of wrote a little description about them. I just adjusted the camera a little bit, don't mind this, this is my light. Uh, but yeah and then another artist copy of this like fish design. I did three of these but obviously the big one was definitely the best one with this little textured acrylic print. I was. I was really good at just chucking random bits in that kind of didn't necessarily add anything but just made it look cool and that's definitely what I went for. This is my favourite piece of work that I did. So there's an artist that does these like drawings for, I think this is the artist, for all of the different zodiac symbols and I created this on this like wire rack that folds where I did copies of all of them. And I absolutely love these. I'm an Aries and this is my symbol. And honestly, I would probably get that tattooed on me, to be honest. I think it looks so cool. Again, a little um, written inspiration thing that I always did. And then there was always this photography stage. So I went out and I took some of my own photos of nature as inspiration. And then we did this thing called observational drawings, uh, which was sort of drawing with the item right in front of you. I had this um, like skull thing that I think my brother had picked up on some trip or something that he'd been on. Um, and I basically just did some drawings of these and I was really happy with how these turned out. There's also this big one here. 
and it's just a sort of random thing. I don't even know what that is and why that's there. But again, some bits of writing. And then I also did some observational drawings of the straw and I even stuck a piece of the straw in on it. Um, and then we also have these drawings of these Ikea plant pots. And if you recognize these Ikea plant pots, they're actually the exact same cacti that I bought and that I used for my business cacti where I sell plant pots. And this was taken way back in 2015 and I'm pretty sure I managed to keep them alive that long. Something that I used a lot throughout my art was uh, sewing kind of on the paper. So these, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there were some sort of like sewing experiments where I would sew directly onto the paper and it was supposed to be like the spikes from these pictures. I also did this drawing, not really sure where that came from. And we did this thing called bleaching. So you'd get black paper and you'd use like bleach and an ink pen with the bleach to basically draw on. And I always thought that was super cool. This is kind of what my final piece looked like and I do have a bigger version of it that I will show you. But yeah, I took a photo and then I replicated it, I drawed it, I used watercolours and then again I also used sewing throughout this piece. Um, and then this sort of more inspiration, why I did it and it's what I called design idea number one. Some just general sewing bits, some more photos. Design idea number two was obviously taking inspiration from the previous uh, horoscopes thing that I did, except I turned it into months of the year and sort of did my own interpretations of these. Um, these don't come up, but I tried to do it in a similar layout, obviously, to replicate it. And then I also did this sort of pixelated thing. I think I remember doing this and I was just desperate to try and get a third design idea in. This kind of came from nowhere, probably brought my mark down, but that's what I did. And then these are just some pictures of my final piece for this. And I will show you that now. And that's the end of this sketchbook. So this is the final piece for that sketchbook. Hopefully you can kind of see up close, but I literally stitched all of the spikes on the cactus. This is also stitched. This was just a, a watercolor thing. Obviously, this is the size of it next to my head. It's A3 size. Um, I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I did. That first sketchbook is definitely my favorite sketchbook from my GCSE days. Moving on to sketchbook number two, and the theme for this one is urban landscapes, apparently. Uh, so yeah, started off, I'd obviously just collected some train tickets and you can see how old this is because these train tickets are dated March 2013. So you're yeah, very old. General mind maps, all the sketchbooks are gonna start out the same because the school obviously had some way of telling us how to present these sketchbooks and what order to put them in. Uh, again, they start off with some artist copies. This artist was Pete Scully and I copied his work here. This is the original and then this is my copy. Same again with these cars. Uh, again, a copy of this one, this, and I think you'll notice a theme. I always like to include these little paint swatches because I think it adds a little something. And then I sort of wrote a description on the artist and what I liked about them. And then we have the next artist here, just a couple of quick sketches. And then this is their original, um, along with a couple of other inspiration pictures. And then this is sort of my copy of it using watercolors. And I obviously did this here too. This artist is Gerard Michael. And then this, I remember doing this, I remember this being so cool, but honestly looking back at it now, I kind of hate it. Um, I think it's obviously had some water damage here, uh, which kind of faded the color a little bit. But yeah, these were some sort of inspirational pictures. And then this was my copy. Again, a little bit of writing about them. And then inspiration again, another artist uh, doing more copies and stuff. I obviously did a bit of like tea staining to this, like added a bit of that GCC history right there. Um, yeah, more copies. Oh, this one's a, oh, that's kind of cool if I do say so myself. But yeah, this is sort of like folding out. It's obviously a copy of this photo here. And then you have my one that folds out like this, which I'm not gonna be able to get on the whole thing, but you can see it goes all the way across, which I think is really cool. And then from those inspirations, I obviously went and I took some of my own photos. I think we took a day trip to London. Um, yeah, primary sources, London, Brighton, and I went to some car shows apparently. And then I did some drawings in the style of those artists using my own photos to take inspiration from them. 
I had this one, which was sort of like a three part piece. So I did a pencil sketch, a biro sketch, and then a watercolored sketch, which was sort of like showing the three stages, which was super cool. Again, that was a photo that I took. Continuing the theme, I don't know how many we have of these, but it's probably a lot. A couple more drawings that I did, sort of this from the car. Um, little mini sketch because I always like to throw in a little mini tag and other pages can just be like this apparently and more of the same we have the London bus sort of a mini yep it says painted with acrylic paint and watercolors and stuff so it says like what kind of medium that I used and then these are photos of the Brighton pavilion uh, some close-ups that I took again this is a little fold out piece and the photo is like on this flap here and that's just a sketch of the Brighton Pavilion that I did. I remember this taking me ages and I reckon at the time I could probably draw this with my eyes closed because I drew it so many times for this piece of work. Again that's another sketch that I drew just smaller and then this one was uh, like mosque drawings instead with a similar style. These are sort of a picture I took and I actually used sand and glue to replicate this and this I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it on here but this is actually 3D. I made all the blocks out of sand um, which probably was really gross and probably took me a long time but it's kind of cool and this is where we get into design idea number one. Design idea number two uh, took some photos. This was back in the day where uh, well, these Air Force Ones were like trending and now the trends come around again and I'm glad I never threw these out because I still have them and they still fit me. <laughs> but yeah, just a couple drawings of those. Um, oh, they were obviously my design idea. More drawings again. This was obviously combining the sort of car theme with the Brighton Pavilion, trying to mix them together. Oh, and that's the end of the sketchbook. So not entirely sure where the rest of it's gone. I have the final piece for it and I can show you what I did for that. And then I have a couple of uh, like final pieces for my other sketchbook and I'm not sure which one was actually the final final piece, but I have this one, which is like a very odd green and like rainbow painting of the Brighton Pavilion. Um, personally, I hate this and I'm pretty sure at the time I probably hated it too but that was the final piece. I can't really complain, it's what I did and I got a pretty good grade, so it obviously wasn't that bad. I also have this one, um, which by the looks of it, I didn't finish, uh, but it's got 2013 written on it. So I think that's pretty acceptable for a 14 year old me. And then the other one I have is a bigger version of that one in the book with, with the car and the pavilion in the background. Again, these are all obviously much bigger, which is why they're not in the sketchbook. And then this is the final sketchbook and the theme was the human condition, which in my opinion's kind of dark considering I think I was like 15 years old when I did this, but we'll allow it for now. As usual, mind map, nothing too exciting. And then these are sort of artist copies. We did what we called small copies, which is this, and then large copies, which put these little pegs on um, and it pulls out and shows the whole thing. I remember doing this and it was so complicated because there's like so many lines um, going across each other. It was crazy. Again, another copy. YouTube don't remove this video for like nudity. It's just a piece of art, calm down. But yep, small copy. And then this is my large copy, which is super cool. Uh, I think this kind of style wasn't really my style and I think this was my least favourite project out of all the ones I did. But I did like this because I got to do these cool textured backgrounds uh, to stick this into my sketchbook. But yeah, again, um, some general copies and things. And then obviously I went away and got some photos taken and then did some drawings of these photos. I remember hating this at the time, like this style, like drawing people is just not something I was good at, so I hated it. Um, and then moving on again, not quite sure this sweet bag's here, but I've got a little drawing of a skeleton on a sweet bag. Um, and then we sort of have observations. Some of these, which I think, yeah, this came from a photo that I found online. In a similar thing to the car in the previous sketchbook, we have a pencil drawing, a biro drawing, and then a watercolour drawing. Um, a couple of quick sketches, some lipstick stains for some reason. 
And then this is where we kind of move on to what my final piece looks like. I do have this in a big copy. This is actually my brother who obviously posed for me. Um, this has obviously come out, but you can see where I had all of the, the separate layers as sort of like quick drawings, laid them all on top of each other. And then it basically became this. Um, again, it was really complicated. Um, and I did it again in that sort of bleach technique. And then we go to the design idea. So design idea one, was obviously this. These are the, the pictures of him. He's probably gonna kill me if he sees this because these are really old. Oh, lost the little peg. Oh no. But yeah. And then this was um, my design idea. This is actually what I did for my final piece, which you'll see in a minute in the bigger size. Um, and this was doing the similar technique where I did all of the stitching on top of the paper again. You can tell how long these have been. Oh, I've just ripped that off. You can tell how long these have been in the cupboard by the fact that all the stuff is stuck together. But oh well. Yeah, these are sort of some like acrylic texturing that I did. I remember doing that and it was always really fun. Uh, this is obviously my next design idea, but I remember that I absolutely hated this. <laughs> and then my final design idea. I made this lino print to replicate this and I remember this took me days and days to make because I had to cow all of these little things like absolutely perfectly and then stamp them all across together to replicate it but I do think this is really cool but this is not what I went with as my final piece because I don't think it had enough like mediums in it so it wouldn't get me a good grade and then this is my final piece which I will show you the bigger version of now and then my final piece for that sketchbook is a two side so I have to shuffle back to get it all in um, but again, I remember that I absolutely hated this when I did it. It was just way too complicated. It hurt my brain. I didn't even like it when it was finished. But yeah, so you have like, there was, there was like five or six pictures laid on top of each other and then watercolour painting the whole thing. And then I also stitched over it, but not my finest work, but it was pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure I just did it because it kind of got me the marks. You had to use a certain like number of skills within the one piece. Um, and so that's what I did. And you'll notice that quite a lot, that I wasn't necessarily doing the art because I wanted to do it was just to get the grade. <laughs> And that is absolutely everything from my GCSE art days, all of my sketchbooks. Um, if you wanna see part two, obviously when this video comes out, it won't be out yet. So make sure you subscribe and put the notification bell on so you get a notification from when part two is up. If you're watching this at a little bit of a later date, I'll make sure to put part two sort of in the cards up here or somewhere so that you guys can watch part two. But that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.